Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage time again. We're sitting in my conservatory at the moment, so there's a bit of background noise. If you've seen many of my charity shop videos, you'll know that I find it very difficult to avoid buying a helicopter if I see one. I usually get caught out. They've either got no transmitter, and none of the transmitters I've already got ever seem to match them, or the little LiPo batteries in them are dead anyway, so they're no good to anybody. I've yet to find a source of replacement batteries. You can find all sorts of sizes of LiPo batteries on eBay, but I haven't found any that are small enough to be a direct replacement. Anyway, we'll have a look. Caught my eye, because it says two copters and two transmitters included. So that means we should have matching transmitter and receiver. And it was £5 for the pair. Uh, Silverlit, which is a well-known brand. So we should be okay. Apart from what I've already said, chances are the batteries are no good. Full set of instructions, so that's handy. Well, first off, they look okay. A little bit of damage on the rotor arm there. So they've clearly been used, not like the one I bought the other day that looked like it was brand new in the box and never been out the box. So, I wonder if they'll take charge. Can't see any little light flashing in there at the moment. This one says channel B. No light coming on, so we'd better get some batteries, haven't we? I bought these batteries in the 99p store uh, yesterday, I think. So 99p for 12 of them, pack of 10 plus 2 free, which is just another way of saying 12. Right, well that's not a good start. There's actually white powder corrosion around the edges. Doesn't look too bad though. Still shiny metal. Last time I had some of these batteries, one of them was actually dead in the packet, which was a bit disappointing. But other than that, they did actually last for a good long time. So I thought I'd give them another chance. And lights come on. So that's promising. I don't honestly expect it to start straight away, but no, 
So we'll put this on charge and see what happens. Shall we leave it switched off? A little green line ha light hasn't come on to indicate it's charging. So we'll just leave it and see what happens. Let's have a look at the other one while we're at it. actually a little flicker of light there. So we'll assume these are in the same condition. They don't look quite so bad, although oh, having said that, that one's green. Mm, that one actually looks slightly worse. Right, lights on. Hmm. Lights off. It was on a second ago. Must be have must have some loose connections in there, probably where it's green and corroded. the one that looks particularly corroded. I suppose the camera will refocus. Red lights on. Ugh, that does look like that one has <laughs> seen better days, doesn't it? I'll clean that off later, I'll put it back on for now. Right, light's still on. That one's already switched on. And that's supposed to be channel, well, that says channel B too. Oh, that one says channel A. Switch that to B. Yeah, still not getting anything. Switch that off. charge. I just thought I'd read those instructions again. Charging the helicopter, make sure the power switch on the helicopter is in the off position. Done that. Pull out 
pull out the cover and take out the charging wire, done that. Insert the charging plug into the socket in the helicopter, done that. The green LED will light up when charging. Picture 6, comma, is completed, comma, the green LED will turn off, comma. Pull the plug out of the socket on the helicopter. The helicopter can have about 5 or 6 minutes flight time after 20 to 30 minutes charging. Right, this one, the LED has come on to indicate that it is charging. This one, the LED has not come on. So, let's just check we've got it plugged in the right way around. Can't force it in the wrong way round. That's the wrong way, it won't fit. That's the right way, and the little LED doesn't come on. So there's a good chance that the battery in this one has had it. And this one, the LED's gone out which should indicate that it's fully charged. So we'll unplug it, switch it on, and I can see the blue light flashing in there, so that indicates it's taken some charge. This one's channel B. Well, the only thing is that was only seconds of charge, so I don't know how long that's going to last for. The motor's starting to run before the rotors are moving, so I think we might have some teeth miss missing in there. I wonder if it'll actually get off the ground. And that doesn't look very positive, does it? That was only seconds of charge, but... Well, the obvious thing to do is leave that plugged in. We'll just have a look at the other one. Which says channel A. So we'll switch to channel A. Nothing. Plug that one into here. Switch it off again first. No green light. That's definitely the right way round. So I'm guessing this battery's had it. Let's try this one with this charger. Switch it off again. Plug it in. And the lights come on to indicate charging. I don't know if that's visible at all in this light, but the green light is on. So this battery's taking charge, that one's not. So I strongly suspect that these are going to be parts only again. Back again, we've had a good half an hour. Both lights have gone out there. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I was hoping that that finished charging. 
seem to die on its own. I'll give that a few more minutes. Let's have a look at the other one. That one's also switched itself off. But we don't get a charging light on it anyway. Well, we'll look at this one first because I can as safely assume that this one hasn't charged at all. This is channel A. Switch it on. There's no flashing blue LED in there. So I think we can be confident that the little LiPo battery inside of there has had it. So we'll be cutting that one apart at some time, probably in a different um, video. Right, that green LED's gone out again. So we'll assume this one is charged. So we'll switch that one on. You can see the blue flashing LED. So has it got enough power to actually get off the ground? And the answer is no. Whoa! That surprised me. It got off the ground that time. I think that may be that there's, like I said, it sounds like there's some gears stripped inside because the motor starts spinning before the rotors do. Let's give it full bright trim. gets off the ground. <laughs> but let's be honest here, it's not going to fly, is it? So, two Duff helicopters, but it looks like the transmitters work. Although this one seems to... Yeah, it's not going to get off the ground. I don't know if you can hear it vibrating or not. It doesn't sound right. As I was saying, two Duff helicopters, but it looks like we've got two working transmitters and spare parts. 
If I could find a replacement for the LiPo batteries, then we could probably just replace the batteries and it would be fine. But as it is, they'll be taken apart and used for something else in a different video.